Hi, in this video I'm going to introduce the new way to use the PoE standard. We need the PoE standard because the TCP IP network is limited to about 328 feet over the CAT5 or CAT6 Ethernet cable. The signal will start dropping after 328 feet. Usually we replace this PoE standard before 328 feet to repeat the data. If we have 600 feet round, we can place the PoE standard at the middle of the cable. And what if we have 1000 feet run between the camera and the NVR, then we need to have the second PoE standard and place after 600 feet. So totally, we got 1000 feet run. Now let me put everything together with the camera and then we can see the live video on the monitor. First, let me connect the cable to one of the PoE port. All right. The second thing is I will connect to the input port of the PoE standard. This is the input port coming with the indicator. Okay, now let me connect the second cable to the output port. Then connect the cable to the input port of the second PoE standard. Okay, it's connect, let's connect the last piece of the cable. Then we'll connect the end of the cable to the camera. Alright, let's check the status of the PoE standard. We can see the indicators on. That means the whole link is up. The PoE switch, PoE, this PoE NVR is supplying the data and the power to the camera. I think the camera is live now. Uh, this is a motorized zoom camera, so it will take a while to zoom in and zoom out to find the best focus. It makes sense, right? Because each of the PoE standard will repeat 328 feet. Totally, we, we got 1,000 feet continue. Uh, running cable, but there's one thing we need to consider. This is the active device, the PoE standard. It needs the power, it has the components. When we do this, probably we need to place these two PoE standards outside between the camera and the NVR. Technically, we create a failure point. This is the active device. So if it fails, we may need to replace and check the device. No matter how great your product, after 5 years, 10 years later, it may still fail. I think the ideal solution is we can have the, just the continue run cable from the one end to the other. Because that will be a different story, right? If we can use just the cable and put everything at the both end. Okay, this is the new way I'm going to introduce today. This is the traditional way. First, let me just remove the cable from the PoE standard. Give me a while. I've got this PoE standard and the 1000 feet continue CAT5 Ethernet cable. Now let's go to the new way to make the whole system work by using this continue run Ethernet cable. First, I will need a short punch code. This is short punch code. I lean just the port number one to the output port. That's a very tricky thing, not the input port, just the output port of the First PoE standard, I will explain why. All right, this is the long run cable and connect to the input port of the first e standard. Okay, let's move to the camera end. Here, we will connect the long run cable to the input port. So inventory, we will have the input face to the input. And we still need short punch code link the output port to the camera. So let's see. The indicator is on. Now we are also getting the power and the data. All right, I just heard the camera making a click. That means the camera is up. It may also need to take a while before we can see the live video on the monitor. I think the camera is live now. Yes, it's live now. All right, I think we have two questions to ask, answer. Why we need to flick the input for the first PoE standard? The thing is, this is the this PoE standard. It has the long run chipset built in. Technically, it has two chipset. One is the standard network chipset. It stay on the output port. Another chipset stay in the input port. That is the long run chipset. So when the data is changed, always there are two ways you need to send, another you need to receive. So that's the reason why we need to have the input face to the input because the input port has the long run chipset. So this input port, will send the signal for 1,500 feet. This output port will return the signal for 
1,500 feet. Now it's easy to understand why we need to put the two input face to the input. And just one last thing, actually like I mentioned the measurement distance between the this 2P OE stand we can achieve up to 1,500 feet. But there's one thing we need to consider when we use such long distance. Remember I mentioned from the beginning the POE standard only repeat the data network. It never repeat the power. All the POE standard do the same thing because the power cannot be regenerated. After the power is lost, it will lost forever. So the longer the distance, the more power loss will be. When you use this POE standard, try to reach 1,500 feet continue run, you may experience the power loss. If the power is not enough to power up your camera, the camera will keep rebooting. That could be the fake case you are facing now. And in this case, you can use this 90 watt PoE injector. This is new PoE injector. It's a it support PoE plus plus. It will take all four twist pair to send the power. For this standard PoE, it only take half of twist pair to send the power. Fortunately, this PoE stand, two PoE standard also support the PoE plus plus. So if the power is not enough, then you can use this high power PoE injector to take place that port to send the power over this long run cable, then we will be fine. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post in comment section below. See you next time.